Cut the ends of the pipe square and remove any burrs. Wipe loose dirt from pipe ends. Without removing the protective wrap, place the centre of the electrofusion fitting alongside the pipe end and mark the pipe approximately 15 millimetres beyond the extremity of the socket depth using a suitable marker pen. Using the pipe end preparation tool, remove the entire surface of the pipe over the marked area, preferably as a continuous ribbon or strip. Repeat for the second pipe end. Mark the insertion depth, which is half the coupler length, onto the pipe ends. Insert the pipe ends into the fitting so that they are in contact with the centre stop. For all socket electrofusion fittings, clamps must be used. The clamps must be adjusted to suit the particular size and type of fitting being welded, so the pipes cannot move during the fusion cycle. Connect the ECU output leads to the fitting terminals. Operate the electrofusion control unit according to the manufacturer's instructions. The ECU will either have some form of automatic operating system or require manual operation. GPS fittings are marked with both fusion and cool times plus a necessary input voltage. If the fitting has melt indicators, check that they have risen. The joint must be left in the clamps for the cooling time specified on the fitting, although the terminal leads may be removed carefully without disturbing the joint. Mark the joint reference number, date and fusion and cooling times on the pipe surface.